I'm Amber, virtual presenter of Canal Innova Plus. Innova Plus News, CNPQ is on the air, bringing posts available on the internet between May 23rd and 24th, 2024. But, before you start, be sure to subscribe to our channel, here on YouTube. It's fast and free. Oh, you're already subscribed, so, thank you so much for your support. Take advantage and press the notification bell to stay up to date with the news of the channel and also like and share the videos you like on your social networks. Help us reach the 1000 subscriber mark. Let's get to today's posts. First block, news about CNPQ. News No. 1 Frowny Face Embrapa, May 24, 2024, Embrapa Western Amazon opens applications for scholarship holders until June 7. Embrapa Western Amazon is accepting applications for candidate selection until June 7, 2024. Interested parties can access the forms available in the pibic slash pibitai slash CNPQ notices, effective 2024 slash 2025. There are 12 vacancies available in various areas of knowledge, including the Institutional Program for Innovation in Technology and Innovation, PIBITI, in Applied Microbiology and Genomics of Microorganisms. The program aims to stimulate technical and higher education students in the development and transfer of new technologies and innovations. Both programs are funded by the National Council for Scientific and Technological Development, CNPQ. News number 2. CNPQ, May 24, 2024, call for support for events to promote entrepreneurship and innovation has a deadline extended until June 7. The CNPQ-MCTI April 2024 initiative aims to strengthen the Brazilian entrepreneurial ecosystem by supporting national and international conferences, congresses, seminars and events aimed at promoting entrepreneurship and innovation. The initiative has a registration period in two times, with international events receiving up to 300 million Brazilian reals and national events receiving up to 150 million Brazilian reals. The deadline for events between August and December 2022 is June 7, while events promoted from January 2025 onwards will start in August and end in September. For more information, visit the CNPQ website. News number 3, CNPQ. May 24, 2024, CNPQ extends the deadline for submission of proposals to scientific and technological initiation programs. CNPQ has extended the deadline for submission of proposals for three public programs for scientific and technological innovation. The new deadline is valid for the 2024-27 PIBIC, PIBITI, and PIBIC-EM editions. Proposals must be submitted exclusively by the Scientific Initiative Representative, RIC, of the institution via the Carlos Chagas Integrated Platform. The programs will be implemented in three 12-month cycles, the first cycle in September 2024, the second in September 2025, and the third in September 2026. News number 4, MCTI. May 24, 2024, MCTI and CNPQ extend the call deadline for entrepreneurship and innovation events. The Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MCTI, and the National Council for Scientific and Technological Development, CNPQ, have extended the deadline for public registration for business and innovation events until June 7. The total value of the registration is 3 million Brazilian reals, with the objective of strengthening the Brazilian business ecosystem in several areas. The event will support initiatives such as conferences, congresses, seminars and national or international events to promote business and innovation. International events will receive up to 300 million Brazilian reals, while national events may receive up to 150 million Brazilian reals. The registration period for events between August and December 2022 will end on June 7. Second block, news about FINEP. News number 5, FINEP, May 23, 2024, FINEP receives delegation from China's largest nuclear products and services company. The Minister of Science, Technology and Innovations, Luciana Santos, received a delegation from China Isotope and Radiation Corporation, CRC, China's largest nuclear research, development, manufacturing, distribution and services company. The delegation was led by the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Luis Fernandez, and by the Director of Innovation of FINEP, 
Elias Ramos. CRC, which holds a subsidy from the China National Nuclear Corporation, is the largest supplier of nuclear technology products and services in Asia. Santos expressed the company's interest in establishing cooperation with the Ministry of Science and Technology, MCTI, and FINEP in research and development, radioisotope manufacturing and infrastructure installation in Brazil. News number 6, G1 Vale do Parnaba and Region, May 24, 2024, Justice asks Avi Braz to provide clarifications to BNDES and FINEP on negotiations for the sale of the company, Avi Braz a Brazilian steelmaker facing a financial crisis, is negotiating a sale to the Australian group Defentex. The Brazilian government has ordered Avi Braz to provide clarification on the negotiations, citing transparency and publicity. The National Bank for Economic and Social Development, BNDES, and the Financier of Works, FINEP, asked Avi Braz for explanations. Beans requires Avi Bras to provide more information to investors, including workers, suppliers and foundations, about the company's future and planned investments. Finep also asks for clarification on the criteria for choosing Defentex for the sale. Avi Bras refused to protest the sale, while the Metalworkers Union called the sale an attack on national sovereignty. The company came under fire for a recent wage protest, with around 100 employees gathering to protest the payment of back wages. Avi Braz also filed for judicial reorganization, with a demand of 600 million Brazilian reals. In July 2023, Avibra's creditors approved the judicial reorganization plan, preventing the company from collecting the sale. News number 7, MCTI May 24, 2024, Minister of the MCTI receives at FINEP a delegation from China's largest nuclear products and services company. The Minister of Science, Technology and Innovations, Luciana Santos, received a delegation from China Isotope and Radiation Corporation, CRC, China's largest nuclear research, development, manufacturing, distribution and services company. The delegation was led by the Executive Secretary of MCTI, Luis Fernandez, by FINEP's Director of Innovation, Elias Ramos, and by the President of FINEP, Celso Panzera. CRC, which has three research and manufacturing bases in Beijing, Chengdu, and Shenzhen, is the largest supplier of nuclear technology products and services in Asia. Santos expressed the company's interest in establishing cooperation with the MCTI and FINEP in research and development, radioisotope manufacturing and infrastructure installation in Brazil. News number 8, Folha de Pernambuco, May 24, 2024, Sudin visits FINEP's headquarters, in Rio de Janeiro, to expand technical cooperation between institutions club The Sudin superintendents visited FINEP's headquarters, in Rio de Janeiro, to strengthen technical cooperation between the institutions. The objective was to establish a partnership to facilitate support for innovation, research and development projects in the Sudin region. The objective of the meeting was to identify opportunities for the use of FINEP's financing instruments in line with the regional development guidelines. The Northeast has a new position in FINEP's financing strategies, with 5% of its operating budget allocated to support projects in 2022. The meeting also discussed the creation of an instrument to support projects that promote the sustainable use of the Katinga's biodiversity in social and economic development. The president of FINEP emphasized the need to strengthen the scientific infrastructure in the region and stimulate access to resources for research centers. Sudin was also present at the IBGE headquarters, where Sudin's presence brought advances in the exchange of information and production practices. News number 9, Avos D.A. Serra, May 24, 2024, FINEP Day takes place this Monday at the Country Club FINEP Day, scheduled for September 27, at the Country Club, in Nova Friburgo will present financing options and project investments to entrepreneurs. The event is part of a series of meetings of the Financier of Studies and Projects, FINEP, to strengthen the relationship with the national research and development environment. FINEP Day aims to reach companies, startups and ICTs from the financial publishers of the Financier, such as FINEP Maze Innovakeo, in addition to other opportunities for businesses throughout the country.